Now let's say you've got a problem with your Synology and it's not booting up. You want to console it to find out what's going on. Now if you're like me, you might not know where the console port was. So what you need to do, carefully turn it onto its side. And you'll see in there, it says JP2. And you want to console those three pins. Three pins closer to the board. Now what you need is one of these. It's a UART cable, not expensive. You can get one eBay. What I've done is I've taped the green, the white and the black together to make it easy to put in. So See, they go closest to the board with the green closest to the power. And just slide it in. So the red cable's not used, the green, the white, and the black. So now you're ready to power it on. What I'll do, flick over to the PC and find out what settings you need there. Right, now you've got your console plugged in, you're gonna to need to bring up a console window to see what's going on. Now there's two ways of doing this, you can either do it in Windows or you can do it in Linux on a Raspberry Pi. Now I'll do two videos, one of each, so this is the Windows method. So with the Windows method, you've got your USB plugged in and you're gonna to need to find out what COM port it's on. So go to Device Manager. And scroll down so you've got your ports and mine's come up as COM7 so go over to Google type in PuTTY download here and download the 64-bit PuTTY so open that up Let's just remember it's COM7 and put COM7 into your serial and the board rate is 115200 and you can leave all the rest as default and what I do change is session logging very handy when you're doing anything like this so all session output and we'll save it to the desktop now I always change the window so it looks a little bit neater 300 column 100 row change the font size and change the line scroll back to 128,000 which I think is the maximum um, and I think we're ready to go so go back to session click on serial and open so you'll notice the putty log appears on your desktop straight away we're ready to turn on the Synology. So there we go, you get in the boot commands. Now what happened with mine is it hung here, it couldn't load the image, so I had to restore the image. But what you'll notice is if you open this up in Notepad, then it's going straight into Notepad for use later. So that's it on Windows. So like I say I'll do another video on how to do the same in, in Linux. Thanks for watching.